Hello, my dear students. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. Welcome to my ICT class, that is Information, Communication and Technology. Today, I am going to take the class of class 6 from chapter 2. Our classwork number is 11. Chapter topic is instruments related to information, communication and technology. Lesson 2 and 3. Later on, you can see the book. Uh, from the page number 24 to 27. My dear student, my name is Rukhaya Banu. I am your ICT teacher from English Medium Senior Section, Sector 7 of Milestone School and College in Uttara Dhaka. So my dear student, how are you all? Hope you all are fine, staying at home safely and as well as doing the online classes regularly. So, let's start our today's class. Today, we will start from Chapter 2, Instruments Related to Information and Communication Technology. First of all, we will know about Lesson 2. The topic is, let's play computer. My dear student, you have played lots of games. But, this is not these kinds of games which we will play today. Here is a picture. From this picture, you have already come to know that this game is not similar to the games you are playing at your home. Here, boys and girls are playing computer-computer game. So, my dear students, today we will learn about computer game. I know you play lots of various games, homes, but in this lesson, you will act as computer. But before that, first write the following software in a piece of paper. First of all, receive the first number from input to memory. Second, memory will give this number to processor for adding 10 to 8. 3. Processor will send the result to memory. Number 4. Send the result to processor for multiplying by 2. Number 5. Receive the multiplication result to memory from the processor. Number 6. Give the multiplication result to processor from memory for deducting the first number. Number 7. Receive the deduction result in the memory from the processor. Number 8. Give the deduction result to processor from the memory for deducting the first number. Number 9. Receive the deduction result in the memory from the processor. Number 10. Give the deduction result to the output from the memory. One student will act as input, one as output, one as memory and the other as processor. This will make one group. And another group will again make as one will hold input, another will hold output, another student will hold memory and the last one will hold processor. In this way, all the students will this class will be divided into many groups consisting of four. Here in this picture, you can see that there are two students holding input, two is holding memory, two student is holding processor, two student is holding output. Actually, they are consisting in a group. That's why they are making two, two. But in one group will stay one input, one output, one memory, one processor. In this way, the boys and girls will play the computer-computer game. So, let's see how they will play. So, I will give input any number after the software is loaded in the memory. Input will give number to memory. So, remember, first of all, input will give number to memory. After that, memory will receive the number and then it will inform the processor. All the stages of the software. 
memory will give the result to output after finishing 10 stages. Output will inform me about that number. And I will examine whether the result is true or not. For the right answer, it will be 10. It will be 20 also. When the students understand about this, then we will write again the software and then use it accordingly to the similar process. Here the software is written in easy English. You can see that it is in easy English. The computer language of software is programming. So my dear students, what is programming? Computer language of software is programming. The word programming is used in all computers. When you will study at college or university, you will be able to write many nice programs by yourself. Here you, would, you can see, here is a programming language is given. You cannot read and understand the above software program, but computer can really do. This is the language which computer can understand, but the ordinary people can't understand. But the software programmers, engineers, they can understand these languages very well because they make these kinds of language for improving software, developing software, creating new software. They use these kinds of languages to command the computer to accept that software and creating something new. So that's all about our computer program and lesson 2. Now we will start about lesson 3 that is input device. Now you will know about input device. Here you can see some pictures, nice picture and colorful also. And here, what is this? This black type of device. Can you guess, my dear students? Yes, you are right. It's keyboard. And beside the keyboard, there is another nice picture. What is this? Can you guess, my dear students? Yes, it's mouse. With the mouse, we have done so many things. And we play games also. So you know it very well. And here you can see camera. Everyone knows about camera because in functions or any kinds of programmer um, programs, we use camera. Nowadays, digital camera is available. So we use digital camera and DSLR also. But this picture is not about the DSLR camera. This one is digital camera. Beside the picture of digital camera, you can see here a scanner. This is scanner. Scanner is not available in our home. But the three device I have shown you in this picture, keyboard, mouse, digital camera. This three device is always available in our home, right? A scanner is uh, available in offices, but not in home. Some homes they kept it, but not in everyone's home. Here you can see another device, video camera. Isn't it interesting? It's very interesting. Do you know why? One side you are recording the scenery and another portion you can see that what you are capturing. So it's an interesting device. Here another part that is this device. What you can uh, say? What is the name of this device? Can you see it? Nowadays, people are using laptop. So, uh, uh, usually, everybody is not uh, using computer. So, web camera, everyone is not uh, seeing the web camera. Because camera is uh, already uh, consisting with the laptop. That's why the other device uh, doesn't need to attach with the laptop. But... In the case of computer, computer has many parts like keyboard, mouse, CPU, monitor. But in the monitor, the camera is not attached like the laptop. So we have to 
attached an output device like uh, webcam. So this device is called web camera because this camera we attached with computer like output device. That's why this is called web camera. So now let's start the input device because we have seen all the pictures but we don't know which device has which kind of work and which device has which kind of part. So let's see. From the last two lessons, we have come to know that input device is needed for making entries of information and data in the computer. We have already told that keyboard and the mouse belong to input device. We can write either in English or Bangla by keyboard. When any button is pressed in the keyboard, a particular letter of that button appears in the screen of the computer. It is not that we always write either letter or word. Very often we need to do some other thing. As for example, if we want to draw a picture, we cannot do it uh, by the keyboard. We can try for it by moving the mouse in this way. So sometimes we need to insert a full picture in the computer. If the picture is taken by a digital camera, that picture can be directly inserted into the computer from the camera. If the picture is in print form, then we have to scan it by scanner. And if we want to insert it in the computer, we have to scan it by scanner. So the digital camera and the scanner are also one type of input device. Instruments like input device, we will see that like digital camera, video camera and web camera is also input device. We can insert video into computer by camera. Those who play computer games, they sometimes use joystick. They insert game information into the computer by this stick. Therefore, these are also input devices. Many of you have seen how circles are filled in examination scripts. The instrument that can read the filled circle of the script is also input device because this instrument inserts the information of the exam script into the computer. Some pictures of input device are shown below. Here are the pictures you can see. What is this my dear student with the orange gear? Have you ever seen this? This is called joystick. With joystick we play games in computer. This is another kind of machine. What is the device name? Do you know? This device name is OMR. OMR helping to recheck and check the objectives copy of exam. Here is another kind of device you can see. This is called microphone. This is barcode reader. Did you see this device? You can see available in the shopping mall. If you go to Agora, Shopno, Arong. There you can see this kind of barcode reader. Barcode reader. Read the code of the products and then it includes in your list of the products whatever you have buy and then they give you the total result that how many products you have bought. So barcode reader as an influential in market. So now we will know about that 
what we have learned from today's lesson my dear students we have learned lots of things today but especially what we have learned from this lesson we will see now about the instruments used in ICT that is the instrument which are using in information and communication technology nowadays we have already known that which are the instruments and the works of different instruments which device what is the work of the devices and which has the most importance in ICT we have already known about this in our today's topic like here are some instrument which instrument has which work joystick helps us to play game OMR machine helps us to check the exam copy microphone helps us to talk and modify our voice so that in a distance people can hear barcode reader read that the products code which products we have bought so these instruments has so many works and we know that different instruments has different different works and then we have come to know the input devices and the works of these devices which are the input device which are the work of that input devices we have come to know all about it so now let's see we have to know about the related questions also because for reading the related questions we have come to know the pattern of the question which may come in the exam so learning the related question will help us to write and do well in the exam so here i have written some related question for helping you let's see related questions number one what is programming number two what is the work of processor number three what is the work of a input device number four how can we insert a picture of a digital camera into a computer number five what is used for playing computer games my dear students all these questions i have discussed today in our today's lesson so i hope you can write this question answer very well now homework 11 learn and write the following question answer number one what is programming number two what is the work of an input device number three make 10 mcq from lesson two and three now last but not the least before ending our today's class i want to say you something that keep care of yourself and stay at home from get rid of covid-19 coronavirus that's all for today thank you my dear students